This is a Somerville Media Center news update in collaboration with the Somerville Journal. Around 8.30 p.m. on March 15th, Somerville Mayor Joe Curtitone declared a local state of emergency to help control the spread of COVID-19. This action came as Governor Charlie Baker set new restrictions statewide starting March 17th to close table service in all bars and restaurants through April 17th and all public and private schools through April 7th. According to a press release, Curtitone's local attention gives Somerville the ability to take decisive action to control the spread of infection, and it creates a formal mechanism for the city to be reimbursed by the federal government for its emergency response to the crisis. Starting March 17th, restaurants are limited to operating takeout and delivery services while employing safety and social distancing measures. Somerville is working to eliminate any red tape that might prevent places from implementing these changes. We understand the devastating economic impact this may have on local residents and businesses, said Curtitone. We have more than 4,000 people working in the food service and accommodations industry in Somerville, so our community will be hit hard by these changes. We wish we could tell people that some semblance of normalcy could avoid the most dire consequences, but it was crucial for the governor to take this step today. Unfortunately, the epidemiologists consulting with us are advising that social distancing is our only current defense against a mass contagion. Somerville is working with state and federal legislators to provide economic aid to all impacted workers, families, and small businesses. The statewide order further limits any official gatherings of more than 25 people. Insurers are required to cover medically necessary telehealth services related to COVID-19 testing and treatment, and must do this without any cost sharing or requiring prior authorization. All assisted living facilities must ban visitors and all hospitals must screen visitors and cancel non-essential elective procedures. All pharmacies have also been authorized to sell hand sanitizer over the counter. The RMV is extending renewal timelines on certain credentials to reduce the need for people to visit in person. The city and Somerville Public Schools will continue to post updates at somervillema.gov slash coronavirus as more information becomes available. When appropriate, information will also be shared via city alerts. Sign up or check your subscriptions at somervillema.gov slash alerts. This article was written by Julia Taliesin of the Somerville Journal. All coronavirus stories are being provided for free as a public service during the coronavirus outbreak. For more coverage by the Somerville Journal, go to somerville.wickedlocal.com slash topics slash coronavirus. This has been a Somerville Media Center news update in collaboration with the Somerville Journal.